Before you ride, perform the pre-ride inspection as described in the owner's manual. Read, understand, and follow all of the instructions, warnings, and safety precautions in the owner's manual and on all product labels. Failure to do so could result in serious injury or death. Visually inspect the vehicle, looking for debris, loose fasteners, leaks, and worn components that may impair the vehicle's operation. Pay particular attention to the radiator area for the accumulation of debris, which can cause the engine to overheat, and clean any debris that is found. Next, check the condition of the tires, looking for any sign of punctures or damage, and inspect the tread depth. Also, check the tire pressures and verify that they are set to specification. Reference your owner's manual or tire pressure label on your vehicle for the correct specs. Inspect the front and rear suspensions for leaks, debris, and damage. Also, grease the fitting on the prop shaft until fresh grease is seen exiting the joint as needed. Then, move to the brake pads and rotors, looking for corrosion, nicks, and burrs. Next, inspect the PVT and engine intake systems on both sides of the vehicle for blockage or debris. Pay particular attention to the screen on the passenger side of the vehicle and ensure no cargo is blocking the screens. Next, move to the rear of the vehicle to clean the spark arrester. Allow the vehicle to cool completely before performing any spark arrestor maintenance. Begin by removing the spark arrestor fastener. Then carefully pull the spark arrestor out of the exhaust. Inspect the screen for wear and damage. Replace if necessary. Reinstall the spark arrestor fastener and torque to specification. Next, ensure the vehicle is on a level surface to inspect the fluid levels. Begin by inspecting the coolant level in the pressurized coolant reservoir through the passenger side rear wheel well. Add coolant as needed by removing the radiator cap cover. Never remove this cap if the engine is warm or hot. Then, inspect the brake reservoir underneath the driver side front fender for proper fluid level. Add fluid as needed. A flashlight can be used to illuminate the reservoir in dark areas. Next, start the engine and allow it to idle for two to three minutes. Then stop the engine and wait three minutes before checking the oil. This allows the oil to settle in the bottom of the crankcase. Checking the oil without waiting will give inaccurate measurements. Once you have waited three minutes, move to the engine oil dipstick in the passenger side rear wheel well and begin by cleaning the area around the dipstick. Remove the oil dipstick and wipe with a clean shop towel. Reinstall the oil dipstick fully and remove it again to inspect the oil level. Add the recommended oil as needed, do not overfill. Next, verify operation of the door latches. Then, check the condition and function of the seat harnesses. Inspect the full length of the seat harnesses for cuts, wear, fraying, dirt, debris, or stiffness. Also, test the buckle and latch for proper operation. Always wear a seat harness when riding. The vehicle will limit speed if the driver's seatbelt buckle is not latched. Next, Turn the key on and inspect the fuel level, ensuring there is enough for your trip. Then verify proper operation of the headlights, taillights, and brake lights. Continue by checking the steering system for smooth operation from full left to full right. Verify proper brake and accelerator pedal movement, taking note of any binding or sticking. Start the engine and verify there are no warning lights illuminated. Lastly, always practice safe riding by wearing the required safety gear listed in your owner's manual. 
For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit Polaris.com.